everyone, my name is Katie Maxey and I'm a registered dietitian with Brenner Fit. Here at Brenner Fit, we like to talk about the balanced plate when it comes to meals. Many of you have probably seen the balanced plate. It has four categories. It includes protein, starch, fruit, and vegetables. But sometimes the vegetable category can get a little bit tricky, so I want to spend a few minutes talking about what falls into the vegetables versus what falls into your starch. There are certain starchy vegetables that will actually fall into your grain and starch category instead, in, instead of the vegetable category. Let's take a look at those vegetables. Here's an example. Corn is actually considered a starchy vegetable. Potatoes and then peas, green peas that are not pictured here, are considered starchy as well. This bowl contains lots of other vegetables that we consider non-starchy. Really, it's any other vegetable besides potato, peas, and corn that fall into your non-starchy. I want to show you the difference. In this medium potato, there's a little bit more than 30 grams of carbohydrate, whereas in this head of broccoli, there's only about 5 grams of carbohydrate. That's a pretty big difference. In this bowl of corn, a half a cup of corn is actually going to be a little over 60 grams of carbohydrate, whereas like a half a cup of peppers is only 4 grams of carbohydrate. That really does make a difference when you're putting these on the balanced plate. These are going to fall in your grain and starch category, just like rice or bread would fall. And then these will make up that other category of your vegetables. Then we also have beans, like pinto beans, black beans, northern beans, and white beans. They're a little bit tricky. They're considered a, a vegetable, and they have vegetable qualities like vitamins and minerals, but they're going to have carbohydrate, and they're going to have protein. So if your meal contains protein, if you have chicken, then your beans would actually fall into the starch and grain category. But if you did not have a protein, then you can actually put beans, like pinto beans, into your protein part of the plate. Let's practice this a little bit. If you're thinking of the balanced plate and you did have a protein, let's say you had grilled chicken one night. The grilled chicken will fall into your protein portion of the plate. And then let's say we had corn. Corn's actually going to fall in your grain and your starch. Maybe you'll want to put some broccoli with it, which would fall in your vegetables, and then some sliced apples. If you had a roll with this meal as well, then you're going to be doubling your grains. You've had both corn and a roll, just to keep that in mind. Now, if you did not have an um, animal protein on this meal, let's say you wanted to use pinto beans as your protein, then those pintos are going to fall here, and you're still able to do another starch like cornbread or corn or potatoes. And then, of course, you would want to add your vegetables and your fruit. The benefit of having all four of these categories is it really helps to fill you up and it lasts a lot longer. If we were to only have protein and vegetables, then it's not going to fill us up and last as long as if we had all four of these categories. Thanks for joining us and I hope you learned a little bit more about starchy versus non-starchy vegetables.